Hey everybody, how's it going? Back for another reaction video here. This time we're taking a look at the Wenatchee River out there in Washington, which ironically I'll be finding myself over there in a little under a month now, which is awesome. I'm excited for that. So I'm going to check that out. Um, that being said, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. It helps it a lot. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down there in the comment section. And if you have any rivers you want me to check out, leave them linked down there below. This river, or this video anyway, was sent over by David Roberts again. So big thank you to David Roberts. Um, awesome guy. I can't wait to... I kind of I kind of want to meet you and go, go paddling with you. Um, but we'll talk about that as we're watching the video here. So let's jump into the video and take a look at it. Already looks like a really fun river. Before we go too far, um, I actually did re react to a video of David's before. Uh, that was actually one of his runs or one of his videos of his run down the Grand Canyon where he solo R1 the trip. So just an incredible achievement. Um, one I probably will never top, I don't know. Um, but anyway, let's keep going. Nice little start, start up warm up rapid there. You can definitely tell that this is where he's building his Grand Canyon skill set already. Getting ready for those big waves from the Grand. But you know, that being said, he's out there having fun. Um, I mean, you know, watching some of his videos actually inspired me to get into some R running as well. Oh, that high side or. I don't know if you would call it the high side, but he flung himself to one side of the boat trying to keep his boat stable. Ah, oh, that's cool. There was a good brace. Leaning forward, keeping the nose of the boat down. Something I've been working on. Uh, why is my computer doing this? Back it up a little bit. Back to Boulder Band. Forward race again. Woo, going for that surf action, yeah. David, if you have any, you know, tips and tricks about how to surf in an R1, please post them down there. It's one thing I want to get better at is surfing in my little my little boat. And well surfing in general, but definitely surfing in my little cub. Or, you know, anyone can post there. I'm not saying just David, but you know, anybody who has uh, any tips and tricks in surfing, post it down there. Something I want to work on a little bit more. That's a nice brace there, right into the high side. And the phone's dinging, sorry about that. Well, that's a nice brace right there going to the high side. Making sure that, that the uh, the lighter side of his boat is staying weighted down. That's one thing, um, especially that I've learned when I've been r one is you got to stay mobile in your boat. You can't just stay in one spot. You got to fling yourself to one side. Maybe pull your back yourself back to the other side. You stay mobile, you know. Go to, that, go to the side of the boat that needs the weight and make sure you're over there. Unfortunately, it didn't... Turn out too well here, he didn't keep it stable. But you know, you're in a small boat and some big stuff, you're gonna end up swimming. Most important thing is getting back in that boat. With, you know, all your gear, of course. You can't go down the river if you don't have a paddle. I mean, luckily, you know, David's got a couple spare paddles. He had his paddle with him. So everything's good, just cruising on.
Oh, is he actually gonna paddle into it? That's pretty cool, a little dugout cave like that next to the river. Definitely something I wanna avoid at high water, but that's still pretty cool. Nice little hit and spin. I said it afterwards, but a nice little hit and spin anyway. Some pretty cool spots on the Wenatchee there. Hey, hey, more boaters! What? Wait, 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 wait. Go back to that. What was the name of that? I got the powder friends there. Hit the bridge pillar and you're fine. Oh, I got it now. Never mind. Yeah. I thought they said friend for a second. I don't know why I did that. Probably late at night and my mind is melted at the moment a little bit. Yeah, definitely avoid that bridge pillar. Ooh. Oh, I oh, got it actually. Nice. That looked like a pretty cool. That looked like a pretty cool spot. You could just play around in. You got this nice surfing wave that he's stuck in, and kind of right over there, river right side. You got a nice eddy you can grab. Basically, you know, rapid eddy. You can grab your if you play around in the rapid a little bit. Grab that eddy. Come back upstream to the rapid there and play around some more. Nice little spot. Oh, he's hanging on to it. Yeah, look at that. Oh, we get some side surfing action now. Wow, he's he can stand that. He can stand that boat nice and tall like that. I think um, I'm pretty sure this is actually one of those boats that NRS made that was of their super light material. That's why it kind of gets knocked around a little bit more. Uh, my cub's a little heavier, about 60 pounds of boat. Uh, I don't know the weightage of that boat, but I'm a little jealous that that you've got this boat, David, and anybody else who's got this material of a boat, a little jealous of you guys. Yeah. Nice. Oh, guide eater. <laughs> oh, another nice surf. Oh, there he goes. Never mind. Oh, yeah. Side channel exploring. Uh, where's he going? Going in backwards. Nope. Oh, this looks big. There it is. Oh, you got it. Piece of cake up on the front of the boat, sailing straight through it. And back to more surfing. <sighs> Seriously, I need some pointers. I need to get out there and pra practice my surfing a bit more because this just makes me so jealous and envious of anybody who can do this. Uh, you know, I've been a river guide, I've been paddling a lot, but never really worked on my surfs too much. So, coming this summer, surfing is one of my priorities. Um, besides being able to actually run the rivers, I'll be hopefully running. Looks like just oh, there's a slice or a, what is it? A slice, a paddle cat, whatever you call it. There's a paddle cat surfing there. I call it paddle cats anyway. You guys call it slices. I don't know what SKS ones. I don't know what you call it. Probably should, shouldn't I? It's terrible. Oh, nice hit, yeah. That looked like a clinger. He was clinging on to that one for a bit. Right in the front of the front end of his boat. Oh, back then, not here. Getting, he's getting fancy here. He's having fun. Yeah.
Yeah, he's got that one. Look at that. That is cool. Alright, so we're just about at the 10 minute mark here. Thank you everyone for watching. If you Again, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. If you guys have subscribed already and you're watching the video, you know, big thank you, big shout out to you guys and David here for sharing the video. You guys are awesome. Um, you know, I'd love to do a meetup in Palo with you guys this summer, especially if you're in the Washington area there, you know. If you guys are interested anyway, but I'll be working quite a bit as well. Um, either way, love to go paddling with anybody. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.